Rappa, are you not done with your ninja tech yet? Patience. As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, hasty knitting produces poor fabric, as raging fires fail to cook meat through. Hmm. Ha! Done! The Cosmic Ninjutsu is ever-changing, so I present to you the Super Ninja Scroll. I have added the memory from earlier into this. If Ninja Gama does not lie, this will become the blade to slay those fiendlings. As long as we insert memories containing the ninja mimetic virus into the Synesthesia dreamscape, it will overwrite the existence of Slumber Nana Monkey in the dream. Ninja Hiryu, Ninja Galactic Baseballer, I'm counting on the two of you to aid me in ending the Feedling Chief's reverse dream. Gibberish sounds from before have stopped. I shattered the fiend's deception with my ninja talismans. Has everyone snapped out of their trance? It looks like Mr. Rekka did tell the truth. Your memory worked in overriding the slumber nana monkey's influences. Our speech seems to have gone back to normal too. Is this the moment of slumber nana? This place is crawling with slumber nana monkeys. I'm guessing they're the ripe bananas from Paperfold University in Dreamflux Reef. That is true. This is undoubtedly the illusory realm Ninja Galactic Baseballer and I had once visited. There were not as many fiendlings around back then. Looks like more and more people are being afflicted by the sorcery. Fiendling Chief, you're behind all of this, aren't you? But, uh, what a waste. If it wasn't for so many variables disrupting the plan, this place would have been even more bustling. You know it's even more of a waste? Your experiment on its way to failure. Let me make a guess. You want to destroy this place with a virus in her head. But look at all these monkeys. Do you really think that dated manga can replace the most fervent trend in the dreamscape? Of course that wouldn't work. Neither do I have any intentions of pushing ninja initiates to adopt the way of the dazzling ninja. All we need to do is bring those disillusioned fans back to their senses to quell the rogue waves of feelings. There's no need to replace the slumber nana monkeys with ninjas. We just have to snap them back to their senses. That alone is enough to undermine the influence of the mimetic virus. And when people no longer blindly follow Slumber Nana Monkey, we will be able to easily destroy this dreamscape. Hmm. Looks like that memo keeper gave you guys some banana tips that good students shouldn't know about. In that case, I can only issue the final exam to you. Bring it on! I'm ready for your challenge! Laying down your challenge only to abscond? Oh, despicable! I can't tell what's up his sleeve, but we should take care of these slumber nana monkeys as soon as possible. Stopping the mimetic virus is still our priority for now. Ninja Hiryu is right. 
since I have already relinquished the Super Ninja Scroll, I rely on my fist to awaken these ninja initiates that succumb to the way of the feeling. Sweet dreams of harmony, this is equivalent to strength. The fiend moon chief left the top this ninja tech bullet. Let us quickly give chase. Stop trying to escape. If you believe you can defeat us, why not settle it once and for all? Right now! Banana, banana, banana. It's not time for class yet. There's no need to be in such a hurry. It seems the fool is the only reason they gave up on the way of the ninja. That's right. Life in Penacony is not as ideal as what is seen on the surface. Have to stop this How many of the experimental subject's wishes have been collected inside the core so far? A thousand? Ten thousand? We should fully utilize what we have. These results will pave the way and eliminate any obstacles in our future experiments. Seems to be intentionally guiding us toward them. There's no need for hesitation, Ninja Hiryu. If there's an ambush, we foil the ambush. If there's a scheme, we thwart the scheme. You're such a bunch of unruly students. Feetling chief, there's nowhere left to run. It's time to face your punishment, delivered by my dazzling ninjutsu. <sighs> AKA, carrying high quality primate genes selected from 32 civilizations for the atavistic experiment went astray due to a trainee research aid's erroneous cultivation. Moreover, that trainee research aid showed no remorse and even colluded with the galaxy race, resulting in a devastating loss for the laboratory. In the end, we're only left with an abysmal piece of failure. You're a feeling who only knows how to take orders from the evil ninja and go around causing trouble. What right do you have to judge me? Of course. It's because of my dreams. Let us continue from where the previous lecture left off. Bananas are plants that propagate asexual. Each rising can bear several buds that will grow into a sea of banana trees, thus eliminating hunger problems, plaguing planets, and perhaps even the entire universe. As for the selfish plants, 
that place emphasis on personality and individuality, they will willfully spread their seeds and grow uncultivated. They only care about whether their genes are passed on, but do not know to contribute to the cause of their kind. Tell me, on a cosmic scale, which should be eliminated and which should be left to thrive? Enough! Just shut up! When school started, you encouraged everyone to pursue their desires freely. But now you ridicule what it means to be free! Previously, you judged bananas to be a failed plant, but now you are singing praises of their selflessness. Listen, the context is different. You can't generalize it in this manner. When evil people do evil things, they always have a myriad of excuses to try and justify their own actions. You're self-contradictory and unreasonable, only striving to further your own agenda. There's no need to listen to such lessons. Feed me, Chief. Rather than continuing to leave lies, why don't you think about your last words? Failures. A bunch of failures that cannot be cultivated. How can failures possibly comprehend the erudition of a genius? However... I can always rely on primitive methods to beneducate you on this theory. See this beautiful dream bubble? The family relied on the harmonious wishes of thousands of family members and the power of the Stellaron to construct Pentacle. I simply gathered and converged the abandoned wishes of thousands of monkeys into this dream bubble to create the moment of slumber nana. I will hand over its power to all banana advisors and assist bananas. Banana, banana, banana. It's time for the final Resonata. The name of this class is Dreaming. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Enemy data net marker festival. Time for a good old counter attack. Tenana. Unattainable dreams are just like the highest hang. Ow! Come 
ruthless. <laughs> What is this place? Wasn't I just in class? Where have the bananas and forests gone? Her! Don Hung! And Miss Rappa? Yo, Ninja Ruri! Yo, Silver Gun Shira! Fucking hell! They're making more of a scene than we are! How can it be? How could such mighty aspirations be brought down by a bunch of failed kindling? Feedling chief, stop insulting others with your filthy language. The way of the ninja does not discriminate between classes. One who seeks the way of the ninja is a ninja initiate. One who upholds the way of the ninja is a ninja. And one who lives by the way of the ninja is a ninja hero. I don't understand, Mana. Me neither. What? No more nonsense. There's no point in continuing the conversation with the monkey brought up by Dr. Primitive. Hmm. Have you decided on what to do with this guy? Hmm. Torture is definitely on the menu. <laughs> Whip him with a belt soaked in salt water and serve him everything that the IPC wants used on me. The Feeling Chief is guilty of multiple sins and deserves punishment. However, repentance is not what we seek. Instead, make, make him tell us where what evil Dr. ninja Prince Osaru is. is. Hey, you enjoy playing dead? Let's see if you can still play dead in the face of a banana covered with thorns. Is it all right, cowboy actor? You don't have to continue acting with that puppet. <laughs> a puppet? You little fudgehead. Even your toad looks more like a puppet than he does. You've hurt the feelings of the assistant director. You really should work on changing your crude way of delivering lines. Go ahead if you really want to torture a prop. But a certain gorilla who has just awakened at the border of Azdana is probably about to depart. Silver Gun Shira, even with my super hearing, I'm no longer able to detect the sounds of the feedling. Perhaps Ninja Gama is right. Oh, fucking hell. That muddle fudger still got away even after all our effort. <sighs> Forget it. Gail, why are you so calm? You're always talking about how much you hate that scum. Why are you so unconcerned right now? This night is long. The hatred of a ninja hero should be born solely by themselves. Since Pinnacani has finally ushered in a period of peace and prosperity, then let the mortal beings of this land of dreams embrace the sun once more. The hatred in one's heart might dissipate one day, but the way of the ninja within their hearts will never be forgotten. Ever. Rappa. Have you found your own way of the ninja? Of course! Becoming the dazzling ninja is my way of the ninja. No. That cannot be considered the way of the ninja. The, the, the way of the ninja is something a ninja lives by for the rest of their life. Then, defeating the evil ninja? You'll eventually defeat evil ninja Osaru one day. Then what happens next? Is your reason for becoming the dazzling ninja solely for defeating your enemies? Hmm. But he's not the only evil ninja in this realm, right? Of course. 
In the cosmic ninja realm, evildoers are as abundant as the glittering stars. The gods have no spare attention to protect the mortals, and the powerful ninja masters with extraordinary ninjutsu powers constantly fighting against one another. That is the Mapo Age of the Dharma. Then my way of the ninja shall be... Eradicating evil to my last breath. My bow drawn, no turning back. My heart shall remain unmoved until evil has been purged and justice enacted. To the end of the Mapo Age. actually experience something so exciting. Seriously, bring me along on such adventures next time. <laughs> it was clearly you who went off on your own. Ugh, forget it. Anyway, I was also able to showcase my capabilities while you guys weren't present. I definitely played a big part in your being able to resolve the situation so successfully. You're too kind, Ninja Galactic Baseballer. The academic conference has concluded, and the actual acting dean and teachers are back. The university did not escalate matters. Perhaps it's because Mr. Rekka extracted a portion of the people's memories. Oh, how scary. Could he have taken our memories as well? I don't want to lose any more memories. Uh, however, it's all thanks to him that the Dreamlight Anniversary is going ahead once again. I hope that we can finally have some fun this time. Yes, and I heard that Miss Robin is going to host the new opening ceremony in the plaza. <laughs> Let's head over and take a look. That's right. We heard the anniversary celebration had uh, been delayed, so we wrapped up the conference early and came straight here to see if we could catch the fun. So, how was it? Did you enjoy your time on campus? Is that so? Sounds like student life wasn't boring after all. <laughs> Look on the bright side. Sometimes the most memorable things are the accidents of our youth. Look, Miss Robin is here. Hello, students. I'm very happy to be hosting the Dreamlight Anniversary this year. Oh gosh, it really is Miss Robin! The opening ceremony this year is much better than last time! Hold on, who was the speaker last time? A long time ago, I also spent some time studying at Paperfold University. So, I can be considered an alumnus of the school. Paperfold University back then was just like how it is right now. There was a lack of freedom. Exams were a source of headaches. We had plenty of homework, and our thesis defense had stringent requirements. <laughs> Well, 
It can't be helped, since this place bears the burden of training the future of Penacony. The annual Dreamlight Anniversary is the opportunity for students to temporarily toss their troubles aside. However, the anniversary celebrations will come to an end, just like how we'll eventually awaken from our dreams. But there is a type of dream that we will never awaken from, and should never awaken from. And that is the dreams woven by our highest ambitions. Some students wish to create beautiful objects, while others desire to lead amazing lives. There are some who even wish to become a better person. These are all amazing dreams. In our lives, dreams act as beacons that guide us forward. Once we have lit up the beacon, we may choose to rest at any time. This does not signify that we have given up. For as long as the light of the beacon can be seen, we will have the courage to restart our journey. I hope that all of you will be able to find your dreams at Paperfold University and will dedicate your lives to realizing them. It's because of your sweet dreams that you can create color. It's because of your ideals that you can embrace freedom. Welcome to Dreamlight Anniversary. Color your dreams, free your ideals! Despite the similarities to the evil realm, there are no clues here. Yo, Ninja Gama. Oh, how I wish that in the next film you can call me something better, my wonderful actor. Are you alone? Each ninja has their own prey. Silvergun Shira only came to repay a favor, after which he returned to his own hunt. Is anything the matter? <laughs> after helping me shoot such an exciting film, I'm here to hand you your remuneration. A reward won't be necessary. I'm only acting according to my way of the ninja. Riches are not what I desire. Don't say that. I'm sure you'll be very interested in my remuneration. After all, this remuneration is... about where Dr. Primitive went. Haven of Memories.